Hey guys, Eric Peacock here from Tribute Fitness. Um, so I just wanted to cover something, some things today. You know, I own a gym, but a lot I work out at a couple other gyms, and one of the gyms I work out at, and I don't really like working out there. I just go there because of the sauna. Is LA Fitness? Um, LA Fitness. Boy, you see some some really dumb things going on at the gym there. Um, the other gym I go to is more of a kind of an athlete's gym, so more of the people kind of know what there's. The people, most of the people there really have a good sense of what they should be doing and work out pretty smart, but you get a big contrast with LA Fitness. So LA Fitness, I was in there today and I just kind of was prompted to put this Facebook Live together because I see a lot of people being sold gym memberships but wandering around doing really dumb things because nobody's educated them on what what uh, what they should be doing. So um, I want to talk about the five wasted times at the gym. If you're going to go to the gym... We want to make sure you're you're optimizing your time and not just wasting your time. And, and a lot of people put time in at the gym, but they're not really doing what they should be doing or at the level they should be doing it to get the best results possible. So I want to clear some of that stuff out. So first thing I want to talk about is I want to quote unquote cardio. When people people really like kind of loosely define that term cardio, and uh, cardio basically you know the idea is to get your heart rate up, sweat, burn some calories. Uh, but a lot of people's idea of cardio, and this is what I saw today, was some guy was sitting on the recumbent bike, looked like he was in an easy chair, doing Candy Crush. Uh, if you're sitting there and you can sit there and play a video game or sit there and read email and text, you're probably not working that hard. A cardio, when you're doing cardio, you want to work hard. I'm sorry, you, you want to work hard in cardio and get a sweat going, get your heart rate up. You shouldn't be able to sit there and play a game like Candy Crush. Uh, one of the things I use is my Fitbit right here. Fitbit is awesome because you can set a goal, a calorie burn goal. And this is something I, that I do with my my cardio is I shoot out to burn 400 calories in my cardio. And it makes me work hard. makes me pay attention to my intensity because a lot of times I don't have a lot of time. So I got to work hard to get to that 400 calories. So my advice to you would be to set a calorie goal and not be, if you are doing this, you know, not here to shame you, but really to tell you that you should maybe use some music, listen to a good podcast, but you shouldn't be sitting there, especially I hate the recumbent bike, you know, do something that's going to make you work a little bit, a stepper, a treadmill, you know, the stair, the, the escalator staircase, um, you know, there's, there's better, there, an upright bike where you're not sitting with your back supported. We spend so much of our time sitting and, you know, sitting there being, uh, you know, propped up by a seat. This is why we get weak. So, so get your cardio going, get the sweat going, get the heart rate up. Feel like you actually did something. You know, this this was just kind of like watching this was just kind of uh, amusing to watch. This guy's probably thinking he's he's burning fat and he's doing cardio. That's number one. Number two is another guy I saw it there today. Had his tunes cranked up. He was uh, definitely looking for some attention. Had the leg press loaded up to the end of the stack. Had all the weights on there. And was bending his knees. Maybe I'll give him 10 degrees. Maybe that. And trying to be like as a big strong man, but nobody, you're not fooling anybody. When you have too much weight and you're shortcutting the form, you're not you're not fooling anyone but yourself. All right. And this kind of goes probably more for the guys, but I see ladies do this too. You know, with the squat bar, you load it up and you you barely bend your knees. You need to get some depth, especially when you're training legs. You need to get to parallel, whether it's leg press, squat, lunge. If you can't get there, there's two things you gotta do. You gotta get the weight down for a weight you can work with. And you probably need to do some mobility work. A lot of people talk about, well, I can't get down that deep or I can't go that deep. Well, you know what? That shows you what your problem is, mobility, all right? Because everybody should be able to squat to parallel. Everybody should be able to lunge to parallel. If you're not getting there, it's probably a mobility issue and you need to deal with it instead of just make excuses. That's as simple as that. So so get rid of the heavy weights. Do the form right. You know, that that's meathead mentality. It's not about how much weight you can lift. It's about putting good tension in the muscles and you know squats is a great example if you're squatting high you're probably going to get most of your tension just in the quadriceps on the front but if you can squat parallel or a little bit below you're going to get more inner thigh you're going to get more glute you're going to get more activation in the muscles and you're going to get better development in those muscles so so it's key that you ditch the heavy weights and do the form right you know put the ego at the door and do the weights right. So you're not being one of those those tools in the in the gym who's cranking their music and screaming really loud but not really doing much. It's a more show than go. Uh, that's number two. Number three, this one always bugs me too. People talk about they don't have any time, they're busy. When you're in the gym, 
don't sit around if you're most people want to lose body fat and burn calories now if you're doing like power lifting or, or strength or some specific workouts you might have rest periods but really when you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs or texting people or doing the instagram thing uh you know putting yourself on instagram doing selfies between sets that's not a good use of your time you want to be doing supersets and superset for nobody that doesn't know what that is is you want to be jumping from back and forth between exercises and good ways to do that are like doing a push exercise like a chest press or bench press followed up with a row or a pull down a pull exercise a push pull um, you know if you're doing legs you know you could do a, a quad dominant like a leg press followed up with a, a hamstring glute dominant one like a you know 45 degree glute glute ham machine or uh, some type of Romanian deadlift, something like that. With legs, you got to be a little careful. You don't want to have two spinal loaders back to back. But, but my point is, is try to put your exercise into circuits or supersets. Circuit is where you do like more than two, where you're doing like stations. But keep yourself moving. Don't spend time sitting around, um, twiddling your thumbs, looking at the clock, or or playing on your phone. Be focused on these sessions. One of the big problems I see is people are not focused. They just kind of half-ass it through the workout. And they wonder why they don't see any changes. You have to focus. You have to work hard. You have to track your workouts too. You know, how do you know even what weights you're using? You just, people are in there just kind of guessing, randomly guessing weights and kind of just, you can tell they're going through their most and they're not dialed in. So be focused, jump back and forth, um, put a program together that allows you to alternate between exercises. Um, number four, making up your workout as you go along. And this is really obvious or following the trainer and trying to copycat their workout. This used to be a big one when I worked in the big club system is if you don't have a plan and you go in there with a random, like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'll just, I'll just kind of do whatever. You're not going to get good results. So have a plan. All right. Someone needs to make you a plan. If you can't figure one out on your own, um, going in there with a random mindset, like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. And I don't know how much I'm going to do or how many reps or how many sets or anything and just kind of going on the fly. You know, once in a while, that's fine. Maybe when you're on vacation, you're just trying to maintain. But if you're trying to make progress, you need a plan. You need a plan that's progressive and you need a structure. And if you don't have that, going in there and just kind of wandering around like a lost sheep from machine to machine and maybe copying the muscle head over on the machine over there or the if you're a woman, you're copying the fitness chick over on the butt blaster, whatever you're doing isn't going to get it done. So you need a plan. All right. So if you just kind of walk in there and just, you know, expect really specific results, but you have a random effort, just every time is different because you don't really have a structured plan. It's not going to work. And you can tell who these people are. They kind of look, they have that look of their glazed over look in their, their eyes, like deer in the headlights, like they don't know what they should be doing. Um, and you see this a lot. So having a plan is key when you go in the club and you can see that, um, you know, people just kind of wander around there and don't really think about what they're doing. They just kind of, oh, that machine looks good. That machine looks good. I'll, I'll do that one. Not knowing why they're doing what they're doing or how it fits into the rest of their body. So, so that's number four. And number five is, is don't be a creature of habit. A creature of habit is somebody who does the same thing over and over again. And people in the, the big health clubs I see are guilty of this with the machines. All right. They just kind of go to the machines because the machines are easy. They don't require much technique or there is technique required but not as much as like a free weight exercise or a body weight exercise or a barbell exercise so they, they just kind of go a creature of habit they just keep doing the same machine circuit over and over again and especially older adults all right i, I get so irritated with the geriatric training being oh we're going to put them on machines older adults need balance they need new uh, neuromuscular stimulation which just means that their nervous system needs to be stimulated so they have good balance good cognition ability to react to things like you know tripping their feet over my dad trains here with me he's 81 years old we don't do any machines we do all free weights we do trx's we do body weight leg exercises we do um uh we do speed ladder we do all kinds of things because older people need to challenge your nervous system and really when you're sitting on a machine you're challenging your nervous system at about the same level as when you're in the uterus. Actually, uh, a guy in our field says he should the, the the gyms that have just all machines should say welcome back to the uterus. And it's kind of funny, but it's kind of true too because I don't know where that the notion is geriatric people need to be on machines ever came about. It's probably the worst thing you can do for them. And for older adults, you know, like once again I go back to what I said at the beginning, when we sit during the day, we are understimulating our body and we then we this is uh we sit in our cars or desks in front of the television, and then we go to the gym and sit in a machine. So try to do things from standing, do things that involve the whole body. 
that is going to be better bang for your buck and learn how to do new lifts. Do new, new exercises, fresh stimulus for your body is a good thing for your brain. It is key for your success, okay? The creature habit is it's better to go there and do something versus nothing. I'm not taking that away. But if you've been doing the same thing over and over again, I've said this before, your body has figured it out. It has adapted. It is not going to change. The same thing over and over again is the definition of insanity. So those are five ways to time things I see at the gym. Saw this today and I wanted to talk about it. So I'm just going to re rehash them real quick. Uh, the uh, Doing the cardio with the quote-unquote cardio by where you sit there and you either you're either on your phone reading emails or reading a book on you know, a, a ebook or whatever, or like this guy today playing Candy Crush, that is not cardio. Push yourself, set a calorie burn goal, especially if you have a Fitbit, that can be a really good tool to set a goal. Um, get yourself sweating, get your heart rate up. It shouldn't be that easy, okay? If it's that easy, it's not cardio, okay? If, quit pretending it is. Number two, no more heavy weights in crappy form. Do the exercises right. Do your mobility work so you can get down there, especially this kind of goes for legs. Uh, is that you can do the range of motion you need to get the best results. And if you can't, that tells you you need to be doing some movement, uh, corrective movements to get that back. Uh, number three, don't sit around and Instagram or, you know, stare at the wall. Move from machine to machine, you know, do push-pull, up or lower, do some type of non-competing exercise, but keep yourself moving throughout your whole workout. You're going to get much more out of it in the time you're there. You're going to burn more calories, keep your heart rate up, keep the workout intensity up so... Ideally, that's what we want to be doing. Uh, number four, not, not making up your workout uh, as you go along. Like they say, if you fail a plan, you plan to fail. So if you don't have a plan, get a plan. Get a new plan and go in there with what you need to do and get in and get it done and get out of there. So uh, if, you, if you don't have a plan and you need a plan, I can help you with that. So uh, you can send a direct message to me on that. But number five is don't be a creature of habit. Part of being good at exercise or getting success is trying new things, trying more challenging exercises, trying exercises that have more coordination, changing up your workouts every four to six weeks. Do not become a creature of habit and expect to see different results. That is the definition of insanity. So those are the things I see that are a waste of time to gym. If you're going to pay for a gym membership, you're, you definitely want to get the most out of it possible. If you have a gym membership and you feel like, man, I'm just kind of going through the motions. Every, you know, my workouts are kind of like I'm on autopilot. I'm not doing things uh, that really are seem to be working. Send a direct message to me. I have an online training program called Transform in 12. That's awesome where we set you up with three different phases of training. So every four weeks you're going to change your training plan. Uh, we have an online training plan, and we also have – Training here at the at, at my studio, that doesn't mean you have to ditch your gym membership, but a lot of our clients, what they do is they come to us to get uh, a plan to go do at their gym, and they go do their plan at their gym, and that gets them more value out of their gym membership. They might not connect with any of the trainers there. They might not have personal training at their gym, but we can definitely set you up with that, or if you have a home gym that right now is maybe doubling as a closed drying rack, we can help you with that too. So having a plan is key, and you know, focus is key too. I say that over and over again, but a lot of people it's just simply not focusing on the workout, just kind of putting in the time. If you're getting, we all we all have to we all have a certain amount of time, and when we with everything we do, we need to be present, and whatever we do, we want to do it 100%. We don't want to do it half-assed because we can't expect awesome results with half-assed effort. So um, that's it for me today. Five those five things. So if you have your gym membership and some of those resonated with you, clean them up. You know, we've all been guilty of that stuff. I mean, I've been guilty of it too. So. Uh, I'm not on a pedestal or anything here, but, you know, being a personal trainer for 25 years, I see things and they bother me. It's probably a lot like a painter that walks in somebody's house and sees a bad paint job and it bothers them. You know, this is my profession. This is my craft. And I just wanted to point those things out. So thanks for being on today. And definitely, if you have any questions or need help with a plan, send me a direct message. Have a good day, guys.